Hi folks, how are you all doing today? I am back with a brand new video where uh, we will be discussing about image editor app creation, right? So image editor app creation, so it's a very simple app where you can adjust the width of your image, you can adjust height of your image and also you can change the background of the screen, right? So we will be understanding how to use um, image component, then we will be using button, photo select component and sliders today, right? So let's quickly get started with the app, right? So before uh, starting with the purpose design and uh, other few things, let me tell you, uh, so if you have not watched my previous videos, please go back to my channel folks hub, open app lab and um, like I mean to say open app lab playlist and then play all the videos in sequence so that you can understand the content easily, right? So please access uh, the content and if you have any questions or any queries, do comment and ask me about those, right? I'm very happy to help you all guys out there for creating great applications, right? So let's get started with our today's video where our purpose of our video today is we are creating an image editor where it can uh, help you edit or uh, change the width of your image, change the height of your image. Along with that, we can change the background of the screen. Okay, so let's get started with the design today. Now, let's go to design and uh, let's rename our project first. So I'm renaming this to image editor then save let's um, let's not choose any theme or uh, you can choose classic theme because i need a white screen so that whenever we are changing the background color it looks uh, appealing for the user and now we need the uh, image so i'm just dragging this image if you want you can actually change the width and height so this is not mandatory because uh, however you will be changing the width and height um, whenever you are um, using the slider like when you are sliding or changing the value on the slider then definitely this this will change right so it's up to you 300 and 300 or any other size you can choose and then we need a photo select component so i'm just dragging this photo select component over here and uh, we need a small button so i'm just dragging a button on this button let's write show okay or show image so this button is to show image okay on the image here present here and uh, now we need uh, three sliders one for width one for height and one for background color okay so to display that we'll we'll just use a label to display those those things so i just want to write with and you can actually increase the font size if you want i just want to duplicate this two times let's put this here so this label 3 will be for uh, background color and the other one should be for height right so i'm just writing height okay so with height and background color so i'm just adjusting this background color a little bit so that i can place my slider easily so now i will be dragging the slider components so this is my first slider component this is my second slider component uh, let me just adjust this properly and the last slider component So this is all now uh, so it's not enough only if you are uh, dragging these sliders but you have to set the uh, values for the slider right so first let's change the id as with slider 
with slider and then um, the minimum value let it be 0 or you can change this to 10 right so the maximum width can only be 300 because we already understood in the coordinate system video where uh, the canvas uh, x axis values or the x values of the canvas are only 320 right so it cannot be more than 300 so i'm writing 300 as the maximum width step size can be 1 or 5 or 10 is absolutely up to you okay and same thing goes with our second slider which is height slider so i'm just writing i'm changing the idea as the height slider then let's just go down uh, change the minimum value to 10 and maximum value to 300 so rest of the other values can be same and we have to change the third slider id as bg slider or background slider it's up to you how you want to rename your uh, slider id right and colors so when you are dealing with colors this means the rgb color system you have to follow so in rgb color system we have uh, 256 256 shades for each color that means the value changes from 0 to 255 okay so the minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 255 in the next video i will be letting you know what is the rgb color system and um, why 256 what for 256 is used right and all the shades and all so the all the things which are related to color system right colors rgb so we will be discussing in our next video okay so in this video you just understand that the colors will have shades where uh, it starts from zero and it ends at 255 only so this is compulsory okay now so this is all about the design i hope you understood the design properly right so let's get back to our coding part which is the third step in uh, app creation right first i want to select the image from the photo select uh, button here or you can say photo select uh, design component right we're not coding anything for this because it is pre-coded because that is the that will be choosing the image and it will be keeping in itself right now when you click on show image button then it has to show that on this particular image okay so let's code for show image button so i'm just dragging the on event because we know whenever you want to uh, carry out some action right so when you want to um, you want some event occurrence after some event occurrence if you want something to happen then you will be using on event right so i want uh, my show image button to be working something like this whenever i click on it then i have to display the image on this particular image here okay so image component here okay now so on event uh, button one click so whenever this button is clicked show image button is clicked then i have to set image url because uh, this is the image component and on this we have to set the image right so that's why i'm using set image url id will be on which we have to set the image on which component so we have to set the image on the image one component so that's why i'm using this and we do not really have any url because the we'll be choosing it from our computer right so that's why i'm just using get the image url thing so from where can we get the image url i'm getting the image url from the photo select component right so that means let's choose the id as photo select one okay so that means whenever your button is clicked some function is happening what is this function we are setting the image url to image one on the image one component to photo select one whatever the image is chosen in the photo select one that will be set as the image on this image component one okay so this is all about the show image button right so i will be showing you whether it works or no let's just check that out let's click on run i'm just choosing this um, image from the photo select i'm choosing the image here okay now i chose one image and then when i click on show image it has to show that on this 
right so it is absolutely showing the image which i have uh, chosen here right so i've chosen horse image and it is showing that same image now we have to adjust the width and height of this horse and background color of the horse right so let's reset this okay and let's code all these three sliders also to complete the app successfully so i'm just dragging this on event on event let's change the id so the id will be uh, with the slider so on event with the slider click but we can't really click on the slider right so we can just slide like change the value on the slider right by sliding it correct so you can just say you can say change okay so if you're using change event that means when you are changing it and you are leaving the slider only then the change will appear right but if you want to see the continuous change happening on the image then you have to use input event it absolutely uh, depends on your need if you want to use input event or change event okay so change you cannot see the continuous change on the image okay if you are using input then you can see the continuous change happening like the width and height will decrease along with your slider movement okay so i am using input so that um, this suits my need better i want the immediate effect to be uh, seen on the horse picture okay so that's the reason and then when the slider um, value changes what has to happen the property of the image has to change right what is the property of the image with the property right so i'm using set property for this so i'm just dragging set property i'm setting the property on the image one here so image one and then i am choosing width okay it's already chosen but uh, from where the width will be coming so i have to get the width from slider value itself right so from this slider value itself so to get the value so you can use get number so here is the get number right so get number because i have to get the number or the value from the slider itself right so get number from slider one that means with the slider itself okay so this is all now the same thing goes with the height slider so i'll just copy and paste this so instead of width we have to choose the height slider input set property on image one instead of width it has to set height and instead of get number with the slider we have to use get number height slider that's all okay and last thing we have uh, another slider for the background so i'm just dragging another input sorry on event uh, on event uh, bg slider input okay so on event bg slider input so we have to set the property of screen this time so i'm just using this set property screen one so i am just setting the background color so i have to use background color and uh, like i told you for the color things we have to use rgb right so rgb is nothing but red green and blue okay so i'm using rgb color component here and here we have four values first one is red second one represents green values third one represents blue value blue shade value i mean i will be discussing this in the next video and then uh, 0, 0.5 is nothing but it's like a opacity value of oh, how much transparent your image should be right or uh, the color should be not image basically the color should be that is represented by this value okay i want all my colors to be dark okay the purest form of colors so that's why i'm writing one okay so if you don't want it to be darker uh, you can write 0 0.5 0 0.6 7 anything from 0 to 1 okay so now the first value represents red you can uh, again choose the background color value if you want to get it from the slider you can get one value from the slider right not all three values can be same because if all three values are same that will become the gray shade value and we don't want only gray shades to be appearing on the background screen right 
so that's why what i will do is i will choose one from red green and blue there i will be using uh, get number from slider okay so i'm just getting this i will be using it on green it's absolutely up to you if you want to use it on red or blue shade value yes that is also fine but i'm using it for green i'm getting the number from the slider bg slider okay then what about the red and green, uh, blue values how can we get these so we don't want the same color to be appearing again and again right it should be changing we want it to be randomly choosing the red and uh, blue shade values according to its own wish right so then you have to go to math over here right click on the math category sorry um i yeah then you have to go to random number just get this random number and place it on red shade value so random number is a predefined function which will be choosing the random number from the given range okay random means absolutely uh, like something at random okay like a lucky draw where uh, something randomly we pick it is not like uh, doing it by conscious right something randomly you are picking so some same here uh, whenever you are writing some range let's suppose i'm writing 0 to 255 because the shade values are only from 0 to 255 and th this doesn't exceed the range right so i want 0 comma 255 to be my range any random number from 0 to 255 will be taken and will be given as the red shade value okay so similarly we want it for blue also so i'm just placing it on the blue one let's write the same thing 0 to 255 because it can't exceed 255 and this is all right so let's just run this and check this out if this is working out or no i'm just choosing the photo first so i'm choosing um, a goat picture this time let's see by clicking on show image yes you can absolutely see the goat over here so i'm just increasing the width and you can see if i'm uh, changing it continuously like this you can see the absolute changes happening right so like immediate effect is shown so this is with the input event so if you're using change event this does not happen let's check so i'm just changing this to change okay so reset and run again choose the picture again so i'm just choosing uh, the same picture let's click on show image now you can see i'm continuously changing this and nothing is happening because this is not the input event to see the immediate effect so if i'm leaving the slider somewhere then it the change will be occur okay so this is about the change event and input event i hope you understood the difference between these two right and height uh, let me just show you this uh, this is input event so it is continuously increasing or decreasing i want this thing to be there and we can also change the background color as this is the input event again you can see the immediate effect so whichever color you like you just uh, stop it over there right so you can see almost like all were like uh, pastel colors right so this is because of 0.5 the opacity value i gave a lighter shade value right so this is because of that 0.5 okay so if i give uh, the value as 1 then you will see that uh, the background color i'll run this i'll only show this background color to you so you can see the darker shades are there there are no pa pastel colors kind of thing now right everything is uh, seems so dark now okay so this is all about uh, the image editor i hope you successfully uh, understood this and you successfully created this along with me right so yes you have learned so many new things today right first thing is how to use a photo select component you understood this how to use sliders and how to code those sliders right and uh, how to use change event and input event on the sliders right along with that you understood get image url to get the image url set image url to set the image url on some component set property to set the property of a component right to set the property of image component we use this today right uh, get number to get the number from component 
and RGB to give the colors like red, green, blue shade values to mix up these three things to give one shade value. Okay, we'll be discussing about RGB in our next uh, video tutorial, right? And yeah, these are the few things which you have learned today and I will be meeting you in, your, in our uh, next video with RGB things, right? So please do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel, folks. Bye-bye, guys. Have a great day.